Hey, welcome back everybody. Today we are on the next phase of the Lakeside Hill project. We had a lot of fun using the skid steer with the uh, the big debris grapple that was on there and then the tree puller. I'm already seeing a couple other trees I gotta pull out of here too, but now we're on to the next phase for the big job. We're gonna use a tractor here, get the landscape rake. I wanna try to reclaim, I guess, this topsoil. So we're gonna peel this off before we put down our roadbed. And so what I wanna do before that is get the leaves, the sticks, everything else off the top of it to make it cleaner so that when I wanna go and repurpose it somewhere else, I have just a, a, a cleaner infill that I can use and have it ready to go versus having to try to screen out or, or, or scrape out or rake out all the sticks and the leaves and everything else in there. So maybe that's an unnecessary step for some of you, but I have ideas that I can use for this valuable topsoil later on. And so we're gonna do this trail and then we're gonna also clean up a mess that we made up there when we did some ditching with our rear blade. We did some of that, got a lot more of it to do as well, but I wanna see if I can pretty much disperse or just kind of rake out all of the topsoil that we had over there. And just kind of let it just mesh in and feather it into the rest of the field without having to worry about taking all these little clumps of, of dirt and grass and everything else and try to uh, do something else with them. We're gonna see if we can take care of it that way, but let's take a quick look at the rake and then let's get started. Okay, so this is the same landscape rake that we've used in a few other videos. You're gonna see the 84 inch there, seven foot wide rake. We sell these anywhere from 60, 72, 84, and up to 96 inches wide. So these do have a pin right here. So you can rotate these left or right and angle them. Technically, I need a 96 inch rake on this tractor. It's seven foot wide. And when I angle this, it's gonna end up being narrower than the footprint of the tractor. I just didn't have a 96 inch rake to deal with at the time. So we're repurposing it. We're going to be just fine. This is a tool we've used before, had a lot of success. It's pretty straightforward. You can adjust your top angle on your top link if you want to, to make it more or less aggressive. Maybe pick it up a little bit of topsoil, but for the most part, it's just going to ride along, take off this debris. This is too heavy for your yard though. Okay. So if you think you're going to do some spring and fall cleanup, too heavy, you're gonna rip up your turf. You wanna get a dethatcher for that type of application. So these bad boys are made in America. You can see they are quick hitch compatible. You don't have to use a quick hitch, but they are compatible if you want to. And we sell and ship these all over the country. Check us out, goodworkstractors.com. Enough of the jabber and let's get to work. So this is what it looks like, okay? So we're part way done, and I did this back and forth a, a bunch of times, right? And, you know, I get it. If you didn't care about the topsoil, you could just come through and scrape all this out, but I do think it's taken off a lot of that top layer of debris. 
we're probably gonna have to come through with a brush hog or the mulcher or something and get rid of some of this extra stuff. A lot of vines hanging down too, but overall, I think this is worth the effort for me and it's really easy work to do. You just drop it down and go. Not very difficult at all. So if you wanna get some seat time, it's a good fun project to do, but we're probably, I don't know, 30% done right now. Uh, yeah, maybe 25% done, so we're gonna keep at it. I did bend my first tine, you can see right here. Now these are bolted on individually, so I don't, well, even if I could bend it down, it'd probably be weaker and wanna pop back up, but uh, you know, we can replace just a tine if you bend it. I caught, I think anyways, I didn't see it happen, but I caught a pretty good uh, tree stump or tree or sapling or something back there. And I think that's what it caught it on. I, I heard something kind of unusual back there, so that's probably what that was, but I'm gonna go ahead and get these tines cleaned out really quick and get back at it. As always, we are proud to be sponsored by Boro Wheel Spacers. If you are feeling tippy on your tractor, adding wheel spacers can make a big difference. Boro Spacers are made in America. They have a lifetime warranty. If you'd like to get more information, we'll put a link down below on where you can buy them.
all in all, I say that was a success. You know, in the trail there, there were certain areas that worked better than others. That ground was pretty soft, some of that topsoil, and so if it was rutted down, the rake didn't want to get down into those ruts and clean out the leaves and the debris very well. So you can only do so much with that. I'm not going to take it too far. We're going to clear it all out anyways, but at least it got a lot of that mess off the surface and we'll make for relatively clean topsoil. Now, as far as along the drive here and kind of cleaning up the ditch that we put in, I thought that worked really well. I was hoping to kind of just let the, uh, the soil just kind of disperse and fade into everything else, but there was actually a decent amount of debris in there. We had mulched this whole field last year, so there's a lot of sticks and shrubs and shreddings <laughs> that were left over in there. So we did what we could, but the finished result is really great. As soon as the frost laws are off, we're gonna be able to get a lot more stone in here and, and build this road up, build the crown up like we wanna do, add four to six inches of material. Where we're standing now needs more like six inches of material, but the idea is then those crowns will disperse that water down into the ditch that we have on this side. I don't think we need one on the low side. It kind of does its thing already, but the water has been wanting to run across the road and kind of make ruts uh, from this high side. So hoping this ditch does what it's supposed to do or worst case scenario we come back and do it again but if you're new to the channel we bought this property to make all sorts of videos with tractors and tractor attachments kind of show you the do's and the don'ts to steal a turn from wrangler star this is a professional homeowner type of thing so we're not contractors out here a lot of things that we're doing are the first time that i've ever done it you know i've seen it on video sometimes sometimes i haven't i'm just kind of winging it a little bit so it's a bit of trial and error Hopefully it can shorten the learning curve for you. You can have a little fun watching, getting educated too. If you did enjoy today's video, we'd love to have you tag along. Hit that subscribe button right down below. And if you're looking for something for your tractor, for the front end loader, for the three point hitch, we have all sorts of tractor attachments. Check us out at goodworkstractors.com. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.